water. It may seem plentiful, but less than 1% is drinkable, and we share that with every living thing on the planet. Clean, drinkable water is going to be as valuable in the future as oil is today. For instance, the United States uses 450 billion gallons of water every day, and we flush 40% of it down the toilet. It makes no sense at all to be using drinking water in our toilets. To use less water, perhaps we just stop flushing. At the Eco Restroom Project at the Bronx Zoo in New York, they're doing just that. But what do they do with what they don't flush? I'm John Dolan, and I'm changing the way people are thinking about poop. The world is ready for composting toilets. People love them. This is a very, very popular facility. What makes it so popular is the latest and greatest in green technology. Don't show them that. Going in the women's room, okay. A flushless composting toilet that keeps water use to a minimum and puts what we flush to use. This sheen of foam that goes down the bowl. Wow. Use paper, it's all good. Toss it down, press the button again. This foam is made from a small amount of biodegradable soap. And the best part? There's so little water in this foam that this fixture uses less than 10% of the most efficient typical fixture. It doesn't flush. Instead, it just slides down the pipe. And below us, the bugs are going to eat your waste. The out-of-the-box thinking continues under the toilets. This is Don Mills. He works with human poop. I think it, it's proper to, to refer to this material as nutrients. No, it is. It's human manure. That's right. These nutrients can actually work for you. What's happening in this device is that we are using gravity to separate urine from feces. The organisms do their work of decomposition. These red worms have the unique ability to remove any human pathogens. And after about a year, the product is ready to use. We'll shovel it out into wheelbarrows, and we can raise the material up to the street level, where we can ideally use it as a soil amendment. Does he really expect us to use human excrement to grow food? We are putting into this only what's going into us. In that case, why not just use sewage for fertilizer and cut out the extra step? There's nothing wrong with human waste. What is a problem is when human waste gets mixed in with storm systems that are flushing out oils, drains that chemicals and other items are poured into. That's where, at the end, we have a toxic situation. Composting systems are one way, and a great way, of addressing our sewage problem.